Success, money, and options. My life's not too bad. I'm probably almost there. I always wanted to live here in this part of town, where the people who understand what it's all about run the show. It's a game that I recognized early on. You can either take or be taken. Nobody is looking out for you, and that's why you have to make yourself the priority. I paid my dues going to school all those years, skipping out on the parties. <laughs> Look who's laughing now. I'm not there yet. Nobody expects you to build a portfolio by my age, unless you come for money, which of course I didn't. My parents spend their time working for other people, and I'm already making more than they ever did. That's why I'm in no hurry to make any commitments. Nothing will drain you like a wife and kids, man. There's no minivan in my future. The fellows I work with call me shallow, but they're just jealous. I did it without them. I have ambition and know what I want. In a few years, on the path I'm on, I should be set. By then I should feel content, right? This work ethic of mine is exhausting. It's too bad that happiness requires so much effort. Well, my youngest finally left for college a few months ago, and now I can start living. All those years packing lunches kept me busy, but now, what am I supposed to do? This house is so quiet and empty. I would never admit it to my husband, but I wish I could rewind the clock back to when the kids were little and actually needed me. Joan said I just need to keep busy, so I joined the tennis club and hang out with the girls every now and then at Starbucks. Mostly, I force myself to smile, so I don't have to answer any questions about why I'm so depressed. My husband tries to be supportive and told me I could redecorate the house. Maybe it's just a phase. I don't know. Everyone else seems to be okay. Or maybe they're miserable too. What I want to know is, why am I here? And what's the point to all this anyway? It's funny watching people here on Sundays. They do the strangest things. Every week, they pass by in their fancy clothes, looking no happier than I did, uh, well, the day my wife died. I mean, look at them, a bunch of hypocrites. They're no better than the rest of us. I tried all that in my first marriage when she insisted that I go with her. I tried to make sense of all the sit down, stand up, say this, do that. If it actually helped ease the pain of life, I, I'd join the party, but I, I never saw it. If there is a God, he's gotta be better than the people I met. And I found the whole thing well, to be fake and waste of time. I admit, I haven't looked at it much in the last 30 years, and maybe it's better now. One thing's for sure, I'm not gonna just open my emotions to anything unless it's legitimate. I heard someone saying once that it's not good for man to be alone. That's a good point. I wish I could remember who said it.